You are all very warmly welcome to the Bishop Girls School for the 2019 launch of the Train the Trainer program and Africa Code Week. It's great to have all of you. Uh, Africa Code Week is an SAP initiative to empower young people and the youth with digital skills for life. SAP is doing this as a corporate social responsibility initiative because we're a software organization and we're a socially conscious organization. We think we need to give back to the society. SAP initially got involved um, roughly 2015. We saw there was an opportunity and there was a gap in, how could I say, an educational gap in a number of countries, uh, particularly on the African continent. We also run other programs in different regions um, to help upskill the youth of today. Um, so five years ago when we had an opportunity to get involved with Africa Code Week, it was part of our initiative. We work with a lot of partners on the ground, getting partners on the ground, getting people to trust us, getting people to believe in what Africa Code Week is about, takes some time to get up and running. Um, but you can see today, even with the kickoff that we had, there's a lot of enthusiasm, there's a lot of different government departments, and also SAP, we're not alone here. We've got a lot of uh, very good partners involved, such as the Dream Over Foundation, UNESCO, Google. Etc. Et we believe in transforming Ghana's ecosystem through digital literacy. We believe education plays a pivotal role in transforming the society and we believe that we as a foundation can do that through technology. That is why when this program came in, we embrace it with all the effort that we can, we embrace it with all the passion that we can. Africa Code Week over the years uh, has been very impressive. Uh, we started this program in 2016, uh, training about 58,000 teachers. Till date, as at yes, um, last year we've trained. Last year we trained um, 122,100 teachers. Till date, we've trained a total of over 350,000 teachers across the country, and this is where the um, this is where we are going. I'm excited about 2019 Africa Code Week. This will be our fifth year, and I've been on it for the past five years, and I have great expectation for this year. This year, we are training a total of 1,500 teachers in Accra and Kumasi. We kick-started with the training in Tema, and we are taking from the sixth to ninth teachers in Accra Metro, La Quanta 9, and all the districts around Accra are taking part in this training. My expectation is to get these teachers more excited about the program, get them to own it, get them to go back into their schools in October and teach the pupils. Our interest is more on getting the children equipped with digital literacy. That is why our first priority are the teachers, getting them equipped first, and then they can intend transfer the knowledge to their pupils in their classrooms. So teachers are very important in the scheme of things. And that's why we're training them so they can go back to train kids. In the first year of Africa Code Week, we went to schools directly to train kids. But we realized that if you're looking to scale this up, if you train one teacher, the teacher can train more, you know, thousands of students. Instead of also going into school to train uh, just one, a few number of kids, now we're empowering the teachers because they need to know. You, they, if they don't know what they need to teach, they won't teach. So far as the program is being organized in Accra Metro, I actually uh, play the host. And uh, all my circuit devices are here. My teachers that actually registered are here. I had teachers around to make sure that this coding exercise actually goes on uh, successfully. Well, uh, I heard about Africa coding through uh, Metro Education Unit and uh, letters were sent around about Africa code, Africa code in Africa code. So that's how come I end up here. The world is growing, the world is moving forward and things are changing. The former ways of doing things will pass away and we are heading into a very technological world. Very soon things will be happening that's and places where human beings will not be needed. We just need systems, we need machines to be doing those things. And if we are not catching up with the world, we'll be left out. 